10 Best Picks Presents the Top 10 Best Android TV Boxes Starting at number 10. Dreamlink T2 Watts. This is an ideally suited Android set top box for anyone, and the best part is the fact that it comes with a free wireless keyboard. This also doubles as a gaming controller, so you're pretty well covered if you're looking to get some casual gaming done with this product. The company mentions that you can change the color of the keyboard as you see fit, which gives it a distinctive edge over the competition. It comes with a pretty decent hardware setup on board, while the company doesn't specify the hardware on board, it seems like this device comes with at least 8GB of storage and 1GB of RAM. While this doesn't seem like much on paper, it's surely not the worst either. Luckily, the lack of storage isn't a concern, as it comes with a single USB 3.0 slot that can allow you to pair an external hard drive to enjoy media content at your leisure. There's also an SPDIF port along with ports for LAN, and IR recording port which is pretty decent. However, the lack of enough USB connections is somewhat of a letdown, but considering the price that the manufacturer is selling this for, we can easily look over this. It comes with an auto-sleep and auto-wake mode to keep energy efficiency down to a minimum. This set-top box runs Android 7.1 out of the box, but the company mentions that updates are offered over the air through the server. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At number 9. Dolomy X2. This is a pretty advanced Android TV box that's recommended for anyone who requires a powerful set-top box to do some moderate gaming, while also not compromising on its media credentials. This set-top box supports HDR10 Plus as well as 4K resolution videos, so if you have any movies with you which cannot be played on a conventional set-top box, this is definitely meant for you. This particular offering is well packed in the hardware department as well. It comes with 4GB of RAM on board accompanied by 32GB of storage. It also comes with a USB 2.0 port and a USB 3.0 port for peripherals and high-speed data transfer respectively. It comes with a quad-core 12nm processor, which will keep it ticking, no matter what task you throw at it. It comes with an HDMI 2.1 port for connectivity with television, while the company even supplies an HDMI cable along with the product, so you're good to go as soon as you unpack. The best part of all is the fact that it runs Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box, so all new games and apps will be compatible with this product, thanks largely to its hardware credentials. Number 8 of my list. Pindu Android TV Box. This is a fairly simple product that gives you exactly what you want in an Android TV box. It's slightly bigger than usual contenders, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. In terms of onboard features however, the Pindu offering is well packed as it comes with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. But don't let the lack of storage be a negative as it comes with a Microsoft card slot, which allows you to add cards of up to 32GB. It also has two USB ports on board, which allows you to add a keyboard, mouse or an external hard drive. Interestingly, this Android TV box also supports 4K high-resolution content, so in addition to adding your own favorite content on board, you can also use this with 4K content on Netflix as well as Amazon Prime Video. It also supports HDR10, so as far as watching media content is concerned, you're well covered. It comes with a quad-core 2GHZ processor on board, so running heavy apps and games shouldn't be a problem with the Pindu Android TV box. As is the case with any Android TV box, this one comes with a dedicated remote control as well. Coming at number 7. NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. If you're looking for a way to connect your PC gaming with your smart TV, the answer is the NVIDIA Shield TV Home Media Server. This state-of-the-art TV box uses an advances GPU and its potent wireless connection to cast your PC gaming to the screen of your television without any direct hardware connection, freeing you to play your games your way. The NVIDIA Shield comes with formidable hardware. 
The innovative processor combines two different quad-core CPUs, relegating four cores to simple, low-power tasks and freeing other the other four cores for advanced processes, leaving you with more processing power. 3 GB of RAM offers plenty of speed and an incredible 500 GB of storage that leaves other TV boxes behind. One of the most exciting features of the Shield Pro is an exclusive lineup of Android games designed exclusively for use with this model. Its advanced wireless architecture also allows for easy streaming of PC games from the cloud straight to your TV. Immersive audio technology includes full Dolby Audio and surround sound pass-through. At Number 6. Roku Ultra. The hardware of the Roku Ultra doesn't begin to compete with those of the Kingbox K3, let alone the Avampo T95Z. So why is it on this list? It's simple, ease of use. Unlike most Android TV boxes, which are all made by competing companies, Roku offers a refined, polished viewer experience par excellence. One of the biggest differences between Roku and Android devices is the software. Kodi is one of the most popular pieces of multimedia software, but its programming is not supported by Roku. Instead, Roku offers its own bespoke media channel, offering hundreds of movies and shows free of charge. Android TV boxes tend to have problems supporting sports streaming apps. This is another area where Roku excels, working closely with sporting apps to provide a better experience. Roku also provides a dedicated mobile app, allowing you to refine and control your streaming and media experiences without using the remote control. As far as hardware goes, Roku isn't that impressive. Its quad-core processor works just fine, but at a mere 256 MB, its storage space is dangerously finite. It has just 1.5 GB of RAM, which is also substandard. While it supports dual-band Wi-Fi, the Ethernet only goes to 10 100 MB. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Evampo T95Z Plus. The T95Z Android TV box is another high-powered piece of technology that competes head-on with the Kingbox K3. Although it's quite a bit more expensive, it has better hardware in several areas and boasts a sleek attractive design that is sure to impress. The K3 and the T95Z both use the Amlogic S912 octa-core processor, which works up to four times faster than standard quad-core processors. It also supports both 2.4 and 5.0 GHZ Wi-Fi connections, as well as 10 100s 1000 MB LAN. Where the T95Z differs from the Kingbox is in its RAM and ROM. The T95Z offers 3 GB of DDR3 RAM, where most others offer just 2. It also comes ready with 32 GB of storage, saving you from the hassle and expensive of buying an South Dakota expansion card. The extra RAM dramatically increases the speed and performance of the TV box for a better entertainment experience. It also sports a 3D graphics accelerator, allowing you to bring 3D cinema right into your living room. The T95Z also comes with both a controller and a mini keyboard. The keyboard is backlit, so you can see what you're doing even with the lights turned down, and it's compatible with PC, Mac, Xbox, other Android devices and a variety of other systems. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Kingbox K3. If you're looking for Android TV box but want something with better hardware and more capabilities than the Dolomy, Globmal or Gubang boxes listed above, then the Kingbox K3 or the Avampo T95Z might be more your speed. In terms of hardware, software and performance, the Kingbox blows less expensive Android boxes out of the sky. Kingbox runs the latest Android 7.1 Marshmallow OS just like you'd expect. It also comes with a vanilla version of the latest Kodi 17.6 software. Kodi comes free of plugins so that you're free to customize it however you please. The K3 also allows for the latest and fastest in wireless internet technology, supporting both 2.4 and 5.0 GHZ wireless connections, as well as a 10 100s 1000 Ethernet LAN, well ahead of cheaper models. This improved internet speed minimizes buffering and allows for faster downloads and higher resolution streaming. 
As you might imagine, the Kingbox K3 supports both 4K and 1080p resolutions, as well as H265 hardware decoding, to minimize the pull on bandwidth. The TV box comes with both as remote and a mini keyboard for greater control. At Number 3. Fire TV Stick. Unlike the last three TV boxes, Fire TV runs off the Amazon Fire OS, rather than Android's Lollipop. Fire TV offers several major improvements over the Fire TV stick, including 4K Ultra HD at 60fps, HDR10 support and a faster processor. There are certain things the Fire TV does very well. It delivers brilliant 4K resolution, and the video quality is noticeably better than less expensive Android TV boxes. It offers pairs beautifully with Amazon Alexa, providing a visual hub that lets you monitor the status of all of your smart home devices. As I mentioned earlier, some boxes excel in certain areas, but fall behind in others. Unfortunately, the Fire TV is one of them. The Fire TV has good hardware, with a QUAD 0-core 1.5 GHz CPU and 8 GB of storage. Unlike most Android TV boxes, however, or, indeed, earlier models of the Fire TV, the storage space cannot be upgraded past 8 GB. This makes it all too easy to run out of room for more apps. The other problem I have with the Fire TV is that its design seems to be angled towards you buying more products. To get the most out of your Fire TV, you will have to buy an Ethernet adapter and an HDMI extender. Coming at number 2. Globmal X3. When shopping for a TV box, one of the things you should keep in mind is that most products prioritize certain features over others. A TV box that specializes in video streaming likely will not have the same specifications as a TV box that emphasizes a better gaming experience. Some Android TV boxes aim not to specialize in one area or another, but to generalize, providing a well-rounded overall experience. These boxes may not be the best of anything, but they're not going to be the worst either. The Globmal X3 is an example of the jack-of-all-trades Android TV box. While it may never top the charts, it delivers a solid performance, with up-to-date technology, that helps to make it one of the best values on the market. Outfitted with the latest 7.1.2 Android OS, the X3 is ready for 2020. The updated operating system ensures faster performance, improved software compatibility and a greater availability of the latest games and apps. The X3 is ready for 4K video and compatible with 3D technology for an immersive cinema experience. While the 1.5 GHz quad-core CPU is pretty good, the 2 GB storage space is severely lacking. You can expand the memory all the way to 32 GB with an South Dakota card, but you're still going to be limited on how many apps you can install or what video music files you can store. And number 1. Dolomi D5. No two people are of the same mind about everything. This is as true of shopping preferences as it is of anything else. It's why one person buys off-brand peanut butter at Dollar Tree, and another buys organic peanut butter sold in a glass jar from a health food store. There are times, of course, when being thrifty isn't worth it. For example, name-brand batteries like Duracell or Energizer will invariably last longer than their bargain counterparts, so much so that buying cheaper batteries will always cost you more in the long run. More often than not, though, you can pay less and still get a good product. In fact, value brands are sometimes a better product than their more expensive counterparts. I always buy generic brown sugar, they taste better and don't harden as quickly. Note that the D5 does not support 3D imaging. You'll have to pay a little bit more for that. 8GB of memory is fairly limited, as well, and if you install a lot of apps you might run out of space. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.